Hello everyone, welcome to December 29. Likely to be the last ever episode. I wonder if we go it's gonna be too long or too short. Um, I'm gonna divide between two pieces. I believe it's gonna be a long one. Anyway, let's go and change some life. Hey! Okay, so we got almost everything, but uh, we're still missing a couple of things for Saturday. So I decided you, Gillian Applegate, as official guy who goes to buy the rest of the stuff. Applegate? I have no idea what that is. Why me? I could send Jill, but uh, I couldn't uh, dare send a lady by herself. And I could go with her, but I believe the bar should have at least two people in the vicinity at all times. You're not gonna say anything, Jill. If it means not being delivery girl, I'm happy to fake helplessness. Ah, fine, give me that list. I'll be back sometime. Sometime tells me you are planning something, boss. I'll give you that impression. Call it a gut feeling. You know Gil has a crush. He what? But he's so asexual. <laughs> but he gives such a strong asexuality. <laughs> a kind of his, a girl that owns a bazaar. She's she's been coming up on the him for ages, but he's only just started opening up. Uh, he's taking steps backwards, and I'm not gonna let him. Uh, he's opening up for fuck's sake. And so Terrence will take him to the bazaar, I take it? That's right, oh, no plan. So someone is uh, shipping, and uh, I'm not happy with it. <laughs> Alright then, to the office I go. As for me... Jukebox! Time to mix drinks and change lives! Gil with a crush, huh? No. I guess I will never actually expect that to happen. This place is great. Oh, if it isn't. Uh, oh, I am. Columbus also didn't expect her to return. Uh, hello? Hey, Jill, sorry, but is there anywhere I can hide? Uh, there's an unpleasant guy on my trail. A boss, tall woman incoming. The door is open. Go ahead, the door is to the left. Thanks. Rashiba, hello there. Oh, hi there. The other one, that's the bathroom. Wait, what's the dog doing in the bathroom? No, where did she? Oh, the hellhole, perfect. Hey kid, I'll have the usual. Alright. Uh, <laughs> ah, you remember me after two weeks? Huh. Big BR. There we go. This seems right. The paper's been a mess lately. You think with all that happening, they stay and do more reports? But they're all asking for vacation, I can afford to be understuffed. So I had to come out with some sort of reward for whoever produced uh, the most reports. I see no difference in my feet though. Mr. Don, I don't mean to sound rude, but uh, you know the infamy of the augment eye with the general public, right? Ah, shitty page that still over sensationalize anything and report useless things. Of course I know. Then why don't you try to rectify that image? To put it simply, I'm being clutched by the balls in the non-pleasant way. Uh, sure. Sebastian Corp and company have an eye on every publication they have bought yet. They haven't bought yet. <laughs> Report on them once and they'll find something to find you with. Twice and you'll find your resources uh, severely cut. And anything beyond that, and the best in case scenario is that they'll buy the damn operation to keep it quiet. And all there are more newsworthy things than whatever it is in the latest speak it out that week. But if I overstep my ass is on the line. Huh. Glad to see this alcohol is still on One Piece. The BTC has been going going apeshit crazy bars lately. Oh yeah, that. Yesterday they closed the one that served as a key part of a drug trafficking ring. And the last week they closed three small bars that serve as a legal chicken restaurant. Illegal chicken restaurant? How? Uh-huh. Uh Not to mention there are like a hundred people who have BTC certificates, but never use them. Instead, they keep those credentials around to stop police from raiding their homes or warehouses. I don't know about you, but it's obvious to me that some restructuring will begin at the BTC after this whole thing. Man, shit ran deeper than I thought. And no news out that it's talked about it. Alright, kid, let's try a Moonblast now. Come again? Hey, you and I have to break the routine from time to time. Here. Now, let's see what the ruckus is about. Um, so, what brought you here? Oh, right, didn't you see a Lilim coming in here? Blue hair, big DDs. She's the one from the Encore concert coming up. Not really. Did she jump out to the roof then? Oh, why were you looking for her? 
Did you want an interview? Not really, just hitting on her. Hey, I say hitting on her, not hitting her. Stop glaring. Why though? <laughs> Are you that bored and you have uh, like a family or something? Have you seen that girl hot as tits? <laughs> also hot ass and tits? <laughs> I'm suffering the weirdest combo of being hard as fucking curious as shit right now. I want to know just how detailed those King Class CH1A models are personally. And so you follow her. I have yet to meet a woman that can resist the charms of Dolomon D. Dalton. <laughs> In front of one, and I'm guessing you have quite a selective memory. Like I said, don't you have family or something? A wife, but that woman cheats on me as much as I cheat on her. In fact, I'm pretty convinced that she gets off on the thought of me cheating on her. So that Slimmy isn't here, huh? I'll have to find a busty enough replacement tonight or I'll explode. Hey, after you're done glaring, please serve me a pile driver. Right. Let's <laughs> just give me a pile driver. <laughs> Literally. Here. Alright. Well, seeing as she's not here, I have no reason to stay. Maybe I'll find someone that looks a bit like her. The guy left. Alright. Thanks for sheltering me, Dana. Hope your sister likes the video. No, thank you. Seems you had a hair tea at all. Your boss is such a fun person. Her sister is a fan of mine, so I recorded a small video for her and took up a couple of photos. How nice of you. It's nothing really, and she did hide me, so it's the least I could do. But well, we are here already. Mind giving me something sweet? Uh, sure. There we go. Thanks. So do you know why Donovan was following you? I don't, but I was in the mood to deal with him. His questions were a bit over the line last time too. Not the worst I've dealt with, but I just didn't want to humor him. I see. It looked like he was just trying to come on to you. You don't say. Well, not like he'd be have a chance anyways. I'm not into older guys and I'm already committed to our relationship. Figure- wait, you are? It's not common knowledge and the ones that hear it try to dismiss it as rumors, but uh, I've been in a relationship with my producer for a while now. Oh, really? You were both single and that kind of stuff is bound to happen when you spend so much time together. But it all started when he would read an entry I made in a blog about wanting to experience love and the like. He offered to help with that uh, after he read it and I thought, sure, why not? I really knew him well enough, it wouldn't hurt to try. How nice! He's a stick in the mud where planning is too, but uh, he's a sweetheart otherwise. I see. You know, I've met two fans of yours lately. Really? One of them seemed so excited when they were talking about you, it was amazing. <laughs> I don't like the term fan too much, it strikes me as a bit uh, pretentious in my opinion. I have many fans, doesn't sit so well, I like many people who like my music better. Fan evokes an uglier and more pretentious image for me. Do you like what I do, Jill? Do you like my music? To be honest, I haven't had much exposure to your work, but uh, the few things I heard are really good. I'm not gonna lie, having talked to you, I feel like I will support you even if I didn't like it. So nice to hear. Hey, this will sound familiar, but do you have anything like tea? Uh, sure. Here we go. Perfect. Hey, uh, you're a King Class uh, CH1A, right? That, that I am? May I ask you something about your model? Sure. Are there any differences between you and a uh, DFC72? Huh. We both serve the same purpose, but uh, DFC72 have the port over their heads, which makes them more versatile. Versatile? Really? My line lacks that or resilience of a DT-01DS, but we are tad more polished elsewhere. I don't even know what the fuck we are talking about at this point. Uh, you know that model, uh, that thing, the other thing. It's like talking about CPU, uh, RAM and shit, uh, but with no context of CPU and RAM <laughs> and shit. <laughs> more specifically, our voices emulator are more advanced and our movement are smoother. A trade-off of functionality and power for appearances, you could say. Ah, uh, see. Hey Jill, will you go to my next concert? I heard every ticket was sold out, never mind how expensive they are. So I guess that's a no, sorry. Now you will. Here. Eh? Uh, uh, eh? <laughs> Is this... It's a ticket for my Encore concert. Sorry it's not a better seat, but I only get so many free tickets. No, I mean, this is amazing! 
I don't know if I can accept it though. You will, it even has a backstage pass so we can talk afterwards. And you will tell me how it was. Uh, why give it to me? I don't know, I like you. You're attentive and... Uh, hear me out, uh, that behavior should be rewarded more. Well, thanks. God, it feels so weird to get a gift. And I'm from a celebrity, no less. Don't think too much about it, you deserve it. Although I guess I can understand how you feel about receiving gifts. I usually get a quite a few from my fans, but it always feels so weird. I don't like feeling as though I got something for free. Luckily I've thought of a way of not feeling so bad about it. How? Just give it my all on the stage. Taking those gifts to me after uh, watching me perform. It's only natural for me to do my best and give it all as a way to repay them. I should um, give it all, uh, my old mixing drinks now, huh? Of course, I see, I see. Well, I've got to go, but uh, let's have a Sparkle Star fist first. Huh? What? A Sparkle Star for Miss I Sparkle Star? I don't even remember making it. Sparkle Star. There we go. Sparkling! Yeah, well, it's always a pleasure, Jill. Please come again. It's pleasure all hours. Will do. Oh, thanks on bartender. Nice to see you. Uh, uh, uh? Boss, Gil is back. I'll take my break. All right. Chill. You're in my spot, please. Oh, sorry. Also, you're cleaning one of the boss chicken buckets. Did boss ask you to do that? Uh, if I told you she did, would you believe me? Without a doubt. Let's go with that, then. Right. Greetings! Ah, Stella! What can I get you? I'll go with Bleeding Jane today. Here we go. Thank you. What brought you here today? Waiting for say? I came by myself actually, I was in the area and stopped to say hi. It's pretty interesting though, when I first saw you, I doubted you ever come here again. Well, this place is comfortable, I must admit. So quiet and secluded. It's also clean, really clean. Kill's the one that can know that too. The guy takes pride in how clean and he keeps things around here. If you ever need cleaning stuff, he's a nice pig. Really? Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's a bit out of it uh, today, though. I see. Hey, Jill, have you heard of the new gold rush in the city? Gold rush? Everyone is paying small fortune to get their hands on one piece of white knight suits. I think I heard or read something about that, but I'm having now, so probably not. In any case, how is a gold rush? Well, the tech behind the suits was always safely guarded. After the events of that bank, uh, the suits were remotely shut down bringing many of them in the process. Many units dropped their armor right there and fled when the lynching went on. Any white knights still stuck in their suits had to take the armor off manually or run away. Uh, it all happened in the middle of the lynching, so they'd be sitting ducks if they didn't. Some weren't that lucky, they got beaten up while they weren't able to move. So between the suits becoming glorified paperweights and many white knights going on their own, there ended up being a lot of jungle lying around. But the whole scientific community were rejoicing. They're on the race to reverse engineer the suits and take as much technology as possible from them. And of course, having single piece of armor fetch a high price these days. Anyone see any profit from that research to justify those expenses? It is a new tech, an old new field ripe with patents just open for many. So I'd say yes. Huh. I mean, the BTC is literally a conglomerate built upon patents and trademarks, I can see how. There's one weird case though. Hmm? There's this guy named Jack, he's the captain of a very unique Blitzkrieg Corps unit. Unique? The guy had a really small unit, 5 people including myself. The static of his unit's armor was heavily modded to the point that uh, they looked like a squad of henshin heroes. Hen? Hen what? Ahem, <clears throat> they look uh, really gaudy. But it turned out that the guy actually broke through the software and disabled the remote switch. He was one of the few, if not the only, suits of armor with the OS intact. To say they are among the most wanted people will be an understatement. You know a lot about this. It is interesting the amount of things you hear when dealing with drunk people of all kinds in the same place. It also helps to put a front that makes people lower their gun. That sounds very... That should sound very familiar to you. It does? True. Wait. Here's a freebie, a fun fact. The failsafe was originally going to involve the armor blowing up and leaving no traces, but regulation and laws didn't allow that kind of technology near civilians. I guess even the battle has its limit. 
People love to demonize Zaibatsu Ko because, let's face it, they are part from innocent. But they are not evil overlords, they are just greedy overlords. <laughs> They're just a big corporation. They just uh, happen uh, to have control over what uh, tantamounts to a city state. A corporation will naturally resort to uh, draconian methods. I've heard horror stories from people outside the city about trying to use product placement. If you owe so much as hold up a bottle the wrong way or getting in the way of a logo, you'll be in for lots of trouble. And let's not start with the theme parks or the like. Those are dystopians of their own. Then again, most of the demonization is due to Quincy being such a clown? Who's Quincy? He has no power anyways, uh, he's just uh, the front that whatever can see behind Zangatsu Corp choose. He makes a fool of himself and the attention is taken away from whatever it is that Zaibatsu Corp is actually doing. Huh, yeah. What you were saying is that Glitch City is basically a huge theme park? I call the White Knights glorify mold security in the past, so yeah. Hmm, no, seriously, and what? <clears throat> Can I get a Brandini here, please? Uh, sure, sure. <laughs> Can I want? So I take it that you're in a good mood today. Does it show? A uh, bit. Yeah, well, I managed to nab a couple of tickets for the Akira Miki and Coral concert. Nice! Alright, as it turns out, she was just here. Again? Ahem, <clears throat> sorry. Again? I mean, I cannot believe it just missed her. I was surprised too, I was more surprised she remembered my name though. And like last time, she was quite a graceful client. Man, so those rumors about her being really nice person were actually true? Amazing! <laughs> Amazing! I know, she even got me a ticket for the concert. She what? I had to twist some arms to get a ticket for the cool concert. And not only did you get them free, the other self gave it them to you? You have any idea how jealous I am right now? It'll be interesting. You're gonna enjoy the hell out of it, trust me. This will be my first live concert of her, but I've seen every other concert of hers on video. They all have such a magical hour to them. Everyone says they have to be seen to be believed. You really like her music, huh? It makes me happy. What can I say? What can I say? What can I say? You're welcome. I uh, love listening to it when I'm feeling down. Hell, this even helped me when I was worried sick about Say at the bank. It made me forget all my worries even for a while. Ah, uh, I see. Say, Jill, you wanna come to the concert with us? Us? I invited Say because I managed to get two tickets. You wanna come with us both? I'd love to, I didn't want to go by myself, but uh, are you okay with that? I don't wanna be a burden. Ah, uh, of course, the more the merrier. You really believe me saying she was just here that easily? You're not kind of to lie about stuff like that, so sure. Thanks, I guess. I mean, you also have a ticket, so there's some way you managed to get that bloody ticket. <laughs> I don't believe you all. That said, can you go to the concert so easily? What about security and the uh, like? But I always has a unit keeping an eye on me from a, a distance. And you'd be surprised at how easily I can disguise myself with just a different hairdo and a cap. I see. I wonder if I could get into the disabled line with Say and her wounds. I mean, you did lose an eye, so... Would that count? Although she'll probably nag me about how she doesn't need it, and we shouldn't have used that. <laughs> hey, can you get me a classic drink? Sure. Here. Thank you. There are many servants around the house, though. I do, but they've been with us for so long, they're pretty much family. But I has always said that if you earn someone's trust, they'll gleefully work for you, and everyone wins. We even had a young gardener that left to study engineer, and he actually came back. He still comes by every weekend to tend to plants. Man, that sounds nice. Let me know if you ever in need of a job. I might find you something. Thanks for the offer. Wait. I just realized something off with the whole tech gold rush story. What would that be? What did that old tech tech be patented anyways? Uh, I kept trying to crack it in the first place. But that'll be true if the tech was patented in the first place. It isn't? Saibatsu have been so paranoid about making the White Knights untouchable that they never patented them anything. Apparently they will be in a database that someone could hack and retrieve valuable info from. Not to mention they've been using tech from other companies without any authorization, and no patent registry in their right mind to approve of a global shutdown syndrome. <laughs> Let alone how to immobilize everyone and steal inside of one of those suits. So the ones that were upholding the law did the so using suit they are by all means illegal? They are in a deep, what do you say? I guess. 
Why do we not do it though? It's like uh, going around. Wow, it's like in Japan, well, uh, like going around with swords, right? But uh, owning swords were illegal, something like that. So they actually have like farming tool as weapons. Ah, uh, Basie. When you have so much money, you start thinking you can screw around with the rules. All that power makes you think you are above every law there is. And this is what happens when those with money start making the rules. I'm curious though, have you ever covered up of any fuck ups by using money? I think we all done things that we are not too proud at some point in our lives. Well, Jill, gotta go, always pleasure. <laughs> she didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> Please come again. Uh, Alma. No hello? You are pretty insistent on that one, aren't you? It is a basic courtesy and something I will try to uphold. First the greeting stop and then saying please and then stops. And before you know it, BOOM! Total anarchy. Very exaggerating. And I'm not. In fact, I'll go through that door again and expect you to probably greet me this time. Fine. Hello, Jill. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I ponder, weak and weary. Huh? Over many acquaint and accused volume of forgotten law. While I nodded nearly napping, suddenly there is came a tapping. As I wore some gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. <laughs> this some visitor, I mutter around tapping my chamber door. Only these and nothing more. You overdid it, you totally overdid it. Quote the bartender, I did not. <laughs> So you like poetry now, huh? Had a face? Can I get you something? Let's get started a bit about the lid. Sure. I just chance I messed it up, but uh, let's keep moving. I'm very confused actually. Here we go. Uh, sure, let's go with this. What? I thought you wanted that. Oh yeah, there's something I've been wondering about for a while. Does the name Shadow Master 69's Chronites ring any... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> That's the name Shadow Master 69 Chronize ring any bells. Wow, you went pale. No, the name doesn't ring any bells. May 22. Today, my daily car re readings told me that I'm meeting a great change thanks to an old man. My biology teacher told me I had been picked for an inter school contest with my latest essay. I had a new scientific theory of the idea of auras was a revolutionary, I thought. So that we bring the word into the occult science singularity. Later, entries don't seem to have gone that well, though. Mentions of being laughed at, being lectured on why it essay was wrong. Jill? I made sure to delete that block, no evidence should be left. I can think of at least six different sources off the top of my head that have all the stuff are kind. Why? Why? Jeez, realize it's not that bad. What do you mean it's not that bad? Don't you realize how embarrassing is this all? Go oh, being young, Jill, relax. It's not like you're still like that nowadays. Go oh, being embarrassing. You're not still like that, right? Right? Right, Jill? Cause no, I give up on the whole cool stuff. <laughs> Say the one that speak with ghost. <laughs> Just that remember all that stuff is... Uh... <laughs> I don't know, I like the way you look. Oh, dress in black with the rare accessory puppy out thanks to the color. <laughs> Wait, I was like emo? <laughs> I mean, at least you had the decency to use makeup and take care of yourself. Oh, so you have a pick. Oh god, you have a fucking pick? Why do you do this to me? Why do I dig out scenes of my past? I was bored. Last Friday I had to uh, take my mind off the whole Diana thing, so I ran a small background check on you. Simple stuff, just checking past the internet activities. She's so fucking bored. Please don't run background checks like that. I just use a search engine, you know. He requests documents or anything. It's like... <laughs> Julian! <laughs> blog! <laughs> what led you to do that, that page? Yeah! How the heck you managed to do that? You do realize your main mail account everywhere is still the one used by Dan, right? Like I said, relax. You're obsessed with all cultism, and I wanted to kiss all the boys, blah 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 blah. And I kinda almost accomplished that in middle school, which still sort of haunts me today. Ah, I was amazed the lines of all classmen will go to track you down. Especially if they think you are still the girl that kissed them for fun and tell no little boots. Ah! We all have things we are not too proud of all as adults. Nah, now I know how criminals feel when evidence is used against them. <laughs> I have to ask though, why the 69? 
It was supposed to be 69, not 69. Like uh, in reference to both lovers and the hermit. Sure, I will conceive his meant wise choices. Jill, there is nobody that will read the, as 6 slash 9. I was 12 at the time. Even at 12, I fucking knew what 69 was. Just how innocent were you back then? <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> well, at least we didn't have things a bit. I have a sugar rush. Sure. Say, Alma, speaking of the past, what was your last long-term relationship like? That's sudden. You died through my past, I've earned the right to dig through yours. Fine, fine. Long lasting relationship, huh? Romantic ones, I'm guessing. Yep. Hmm. Well, I mean, well, I haven't had about four boyfriends, would I describe as such, but I introduced to my family at all. The first one was in high school, I broke out with him because he cheated on me. I remember the other girl trying to pick a fight, and me just saying, keep the fucker. The second one was during my freshman year. I broke up with him after he thought I'd be funny to punch me in the arm. He started with a friendly hit and before you know it... Anyways, the other guy I met shortly after I, I dropped out. It was interesting marriage, but he wanted to get married after only half a year so, or so of knowing him. And then there's Richard. Who? Huh? Richard? Spent almost four years with him. We got along pretty well, we had awesome chemistry, I truly really loved him. As time went by, there was a rift that started separating us. He just didn't like my family. He didn't? Moreover, he wasn't a family person. He distanced himself from his own and voice that he didn't want kids. There was a part of me that wanted to believe even just for a little bit that maybe he changed his mind. What the fuck? Is this fucking Monica? <laughs> it's a fucking story of Monica and Richard. It's the same fucking thing. And as much as I loved him, that one detail brought a growing gap between us. <laughs> Richard didn't want children. At one point, I just had to break out with him. But I'm not here to depress you. Bring me a beer, will ya? Sure. Thanks for telling me that, by the way. Oh, um, don't mention it. Okay, one more question and we are even. Wow, you really are embarrassed of that blog, huh? Sure, ask away. At what age do you get those implants in your books? Chill, I love you and I know you are saying that in jest. <laughs> <laughs> but I lived through so many rumors about me getting plastic surgery that I cannot and uh, won't take it as a joke. As such, uh, at the honor ring, our friendship, I'll just say this. They are real and they are spectacular. <laughs> oh, she definitely knows it. <laughs> now ask the real question before I slap you. I grant you one and only one chance to call me by my full name as a compensation then. I got you to take your offer? It's funny that you mentioned slapping because my real question was why do you get your hands chopped? <laughs> chopped. Well, there's a couple of reasons. The first is that I spend a lot of time typing and uh, this replacement helped me avoid carpal tunnel syndrome. Oh, is that a thing? Is that a thing? There's other utility like how I can interface with my devices. For example, there's a tiny computer embedded in my glasses. Now, if, my, if I move my index finger, it acts like a computer's cursor. Tell us more, but there are small things they don't sound that impressive when I say it out loud. <laughs> I don't know, it's like... I'm gonna go really trigger like at... Uh, uh, what was it? Evan Garden? Violet Evergarden? It's like you have that hand. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> How did your family take the operation? They took it well enough, except for my mom. She freaked out for months. Thank the shit! Me was like, ah, uh, oh, I'm gonna chop off my hand <laughs> and give a nice hand, the fake hand. She even went to the hospital to ask for my hands. And don't you miss them? Sometimes, but just during emotional moment. But uh, luck will have it, uh, someone else has them. Shortly before my operation, it was an accident on the highway. One of the victims was uh, this young lady whose uh, right hand got completely crushed. I told them uh, to check if we were compatible and all that. And I mean, implants are not everyone's first choice if they can get a natural replacement. A bit of a cosmetic treatment and it could pass off as her original hand with no problem. As to her, we were compatible and the family agreed to the donation. I don't know what became of her, but I hope she's fine. And you didn't tell your mom about that? I didn't uh, want her pestering the poor girl. <laughs> Give me my daughter's hand! <laughs> <laughs> oh, imagine that. That would be oh, weird. So are we cool now? Are we even now? Are we? You were pretty pissed off about my comment regarding your boobs. Again, I'm sorry. I'm sounding a lot less shrewd in my head. Yeah, don't worry about that. 
Besides, I got to call you Julianne once. No, you don't. Uh, why? You just call me by my full name. Are you serious? One chance only, one chance, and you just used it up. Damn it. Surprise! Anna, what the heck are you doing here? Hey, Alma, this might be a weird tangent, but uh, do you believe in ghosts? Hey. Not particularly, no. Although there was this paper I read once that was quite interesting. It's proposed a scenario where a nanomachine cluster could have lived the body after that. And then acted as a collective high mind through a residual brain waves. The result will basically be an image and not like a hologram. Of course, the hypothesis fell through because such a nanomachine density is impossible in a body. If 5% of the amount needed is enough to make the blood to dance for the heart. And it's not like brain waves are potent enough to create those reactions. Still an interesting read though. I see. Don't give me that look, it's not my fault that you convince yourself that you're crazy. Well, I'll leave then, see you tomorrow. See ya! All done? I am! What about Jill? For some reason, the idol girl left him late like that, is it? What? You think? Why have I been while he was out? Sure. Hey boss, you are fan of wrestling? I mean, you... I mean, uh, you were a wrestler, so... I am? Yeah, why? I was wondering, isn't wrestling fake? Isn't everything fake? Iron Twin... <laughs> Iron Twin tells for little girls and teens with 8th grade syndrome? A grey what? Uh, when you get down to it, uh, wrestling is as real as a soap opera. I mean, you don't really expect a legal lawsuit to be fixed in a ring, right? Sure, in my ideal world you could solve legal problems through good old wrestling, but... Uh, uh, no, seriously, 8th grade what? <laughs> we don't go, <laughs> go around calling soap opera fake, huh? It's a show! Just happened to all these files as an expression. We might as well see it as a unique form of theatre. Besides, considering the injuries many wrestlers suffer, it is all that fake. I didn't think about it that way. Sadly, I won't stand for anyone bad mouthing wrestling. So now I have to go and break Gil's back to make you humble. Huh? Oh, well, wait, what? Come here, my boy! But <laughs> what? Hey, great! What? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> so, guys, I heard that there was a, a secret uh, character, and I have to do, s and I have to do something. It appears the guy that I used was a little bit outdated. Um, uh, basically, there was a bug. Uh, maybe I probably fix it. Where you basically have to uh, serve uh, another moai, you know, one of those stupid totem. Uh, to a carrot, sir. And uh, you could actually use beer as an alternative, but it appears they probably fix it, so you have to keep the totem. And so, let's try it out. So, we were supposed to serve Moai. Play me Moai! Here. This is classic how. Uh, whatever. And there we go! Excuse me, is this the Rad Shiba Bar? Uh, kind of, perhaps, maybe. He says at the, uh, I believe, the third secret. Hello? Somebody fell for that one. Yeah, but we prefer to call it Balala. What can I get you? Let's try the sugar rush. Certainly. Here. Thanks. You don't look like you are from around here, miss. Call me Jess. I'm from Neo San Francisco, actually. I'm careful to see the Mega Christmas I hear so much about. I always wonder why it's called Neo San Francisco. It's like Neo Tijuana, or it is more like New Mexico. Wait, there's New Mexico? Uh, still, that's a good question. Uh, what tip do you offer what I'm not from around here? The fact that you are a hybrid. Really? I thought Glitch City was the world's genetic engineer mecca. Every time you hear about a breakthrough genetic engineer, it's more likely it came in from here. That's true, that's all true, if you have the money. Glitch City has some awesome advances, but many of them are gated behind giant walls of cash. Like genetic modification or prosthetic. Is really that bad? Let's say I wanted a treatment to change my hair color to yellow and my eyes to amber. Simple stuff, two shots. But uh, just for the hair, I needed to save minimum wage paychecks for 10 years. Damn! Not only that, the insurers still refuse to cover genetic modification, even the medical ones. Weird, I mean, uh, nowadays genetic modification are pretty common everywhere else. I don't understand much about it myself. I think the Sobi like impulse fees uh, leave the by the CDR the deciding factor in the whole green pricing situation. 
Now it's to avoid for uh, identity theft. Or maybe it has to do with how devaluated our currency is. Raise both those, those things at the same time. Hmm. I see. But uh, look at me rambling. Can I get you anything else? Uh, let's try Brandini. Uh, sure. I made them so many times. Uh, so sometimes you should assume I should know this, but um, I fail to remember. There we go. Thanks. It is interesting though. Hebrews are well received around here. It might have something to do with the Hebrews usually having a lot of money. I guess it could be an example of higher class establishing beauty standards or something. I will make more likely target for mugging then. Everyone is likely target for mugging, you just stick out a bit more than the rest. You do well to remain vigilant anyways. Thanks for the advice. Hey, mind if I ask something? Go ahead, no problem. Arcade boomers hybrids? Hmm, no, I don't think so. While there is a genetic modification going on, it's more akin to being born with six fingers. Then side effect or treatment, if you will. Really? Because there seem to be countries where cat boomers are considered hybrids. True, but I think about it for a second. I say you got a treatment for a skin condition, and the side effect was getting scaly skin. There's a hybrid with scales and skin, but your skin is a side effect. The, scale might, the scales might just be that skin. Even if legally, the scaly skin could make you hybrid, you're not the one necessarily. Even if it's a law, laws can be wrong too. Yeah, you're right, sorry about asking so many questions. Oh, I don't mind, I guess you really don't see many hybrids around, huh? Alright, uh, could you give me a direction for the Artemis Wilmo? Sure. Let me grab a piece of paper. Let's see. Turn right when you see a front house. Here you are. Thanks a lot. Goodbye. Please come again. Hold on. I am what about your Jill? For some reason, the I took a left in like this. Okay, I think I already did this. Huh. I guess I lost my uh, flawless. Hey, gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I, I think I'm gonna do the other. Um, I loaded back my old save because I kind of want to keep the flawless. I believe that the Moai, Flaming Moai, was. Um... So basically, the guy said that you can bypass the mistake by uh, providing beer. Uh, apparently it doesn't work, I guess they probably fix it, so it is what it is, I guess. And uh, so if you want to check out the uh, first secret uh, character, uh, you have to provide a flaming Y, otherwise uh, good luck, I guess. And as usual, I hope you enjoyed this episode, have a lovely day, a lovely evening, and a lovely night.